things tuned up to flow at every and maximum efficiency at every single lift increment. So one angle change is going to skew that curve somewhere, somewhere. But think about this. Now pound that bastard against that seat. How many million? Uh, bam, bam, bam. I mean, think about that. How does it maintain those angles, you know? Well, with the heat and the pressure and, and you start putting it all together, it's dynamic as hell. It, it, it depends, one. And two, you're, well, of course, you're going to beat the seats out eventually. I mean, you're going to have to freshen it up. Yeah. And people, some guys will say, God dang, how, how why? Why is it twelve hundred dollars to do a valve job on these heads, and it's two hundred fifty on the others? Well, the ones that take a thousand dollars take a couple of days. The valve seat's completely offset. They're on kill, meaning yep. they're on the edge of disaster. If I go five to eight thousandths bigger on the throat, it'll lose ten foot pounds of torque like that. That takes a great deal of finesse. So a lot of times, what I'll do is the initial cylinder head, the throat will be a tad small. Like on a pro stock deal, yeah. what you would do if you know that I need the throat at a maximum of 91.8% of that valve to, to get right in that area, I'll set it at 91.5 and leave a couple thousands per side because I know the seats are going to move a little bit. It's going to beat the seats. And when it freshen it, I can go back in there, fluff it, and it's right on. There it is. Now, I will say that professional cylinder head manufacturers – these cylinder heads are what I refer to as booby trapped, meaning they put everything right at the peak of efficiency. And if you change one thing, I've seen 40 horsepower gone. I've seen that so many times I can't even count. From what? what messing what, what, up to killing the throat and the venturi. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Especially in the torque region. It'll kill torque like you can't believe.